Hi guys, Tracy here with another layout from the May Scraptastic Destination Unknown kit. I'm just scrapbooking this picture that my husband's friend took. It's actually a photograph by uh, Tim Lingley. Um, and I just thought it was a really great shot of my husband and his other friend. Uh, during a photo walk. So I'm just having a look at some of the uh, some of the papers that are left. I've already scrapbooked several layouts with this kit and so there as you can see there's still lots and lots left. So um, I picked out some ones that had the color scheme that I had in mind. Because this is a black and white photo I could have chosen almost any color scheme I'm sure. But what I decided to do was go with reds and turquoise because I love reds and turquoise or aqua kind of color together. And um, I'm just putting some strips of paper in there. I love that seafoam paper from Studio Calico, so I had to get that last little bit in there. Um, and I'm just kind of having a look at what I've got here and, and you know, deciding what's going what's gonna to look nice here. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of these, but I'm cutting it up anyways. And now I'm taking the manufacturer's strip off of this one. And this is a, a paper by L Studio, this background paper I'm going to use. I'm just going to try to figure out how I'm going to use it so that I can cover up that cherish. Cherish is not a word that I, I usually use, and so I don't I don't necessarily want it there. Um, and it's not really something that I want to use for this layout in particular. So, um, so anyways, I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to cover that cherish and kind of incorporate it into my design. And then I found this L Studio tag that says, uh, this makes me incredibly happy. And so I'm going to use that, but I'm also going to cover up the me because uh, I want it to say this makes him incredibly happy because this uh, layout is all about my husband and how he goes on these crazy early walks, photo walks, uh, to catch the sunset, or the, I mean the sunrise. Uh, so he gets up at like four o'clock in the morning in order to drive to this place and meet his friends. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm stamping a couple, I wasn't sure what background I wanted or what color I wanted, uh, so I stamped a couple of options for myself here and I'm fussy cutting around this stamp which is a Scraptastic Kit Club stamp. It's an extra purchase with your kit and uh, you always get two options like of four by six sheets of stamps which are really nice, I love them. Um, this one in particular I really love because it's got that heart in the middle of the of the camera. So I wasn't again I wasn't sure which one I was going to use so I just cut it out in both the pink and the the grid paper backgrounds. I'm going to end up using the grid paper one. So I have all of those papers layered under the photo and now I'm just uh, trying to decide what I'm going to put up in that corner because the L Studio and I, I don't know what I did there I just cut that paper wonky <laughs> I measured so it should have came out okay but it didn't um, anyways the L Studio papers sometimes have and so the same with the tag they sometimes have layers drawn onto them and I like to um, accentuate those eight layers with my own real layers just to kind of give some dimension. I find otherwise those prints look kind of flat and I don't know what the word I'm looking for, maybe contrived, like they just look a little bit, without dressing them up a little bit, they just kind of look, I don't know, flat I guess is a good word for it. So I am just, uh, so I cut a triangle to go up in that top corner and I still haven't decided exactly where the camera is going to go. I guess I'm having a look for something here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yes, I remember now. So I have these Making Memories word letter. They're kind of magnetic letter stamps and they look like a typewriter type of a font. And it kind of, I thought it matched pretty well. It's not an exact match, but it matches pretty well with the um, This Makes Me part of Incredibly Happy that goes on that tag that it's actually not in frame right now. But so my idea was to, uh, and it took me a while to get the stamp the right color and shade and, and have it stamped properly. Um, I'm going to replace the word me with him. And I was going to kind of cross it out and then have it kind of tucked up on top of it. But then I thought that looked a little bit too distracting. So instead I decided to just overlay the him right on top of the me. 
So it changes that uh, tag from this makes me incredibly happy to this makes him incredibly happy. So I'm cutting another one of those chic tags that you are here uh, square label thingy and I'm going to put that Prima clip that came in the kit. Now I'm finally going to glue down my layers. I love those Prima clips. I have got to get more of those because they're awesome. They just, they, I love that they um, are so plain and simple that they look nice all by themselves, but they also look nice uh, layered with some embellishments around them. And I love that you can see the photo underneath of them. So I'm just peeling up some of the edges here like I did on my last couple of layouts. Um, sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. I go through phases where I use a lot more layers and pop dots and stuff and then I go through phases where I just let all my paper sit flat and I do a lot more sewing when I when I leave my layers flat. Um, but in this case I'm kind of peeling up all the edges on almost everything on this, uh, on this lay layout. So now I used a pop dot to uh, attach him to that tag just because I didn't want to make it look like I was trying to pretend that it wasn't, that, like I wanted to make it look obvious that I changed that. So the pop dot makes it kind of stand out a little bit. So I took one of those uh, cork cameras from my stash and those are by Studio Calico and I'm also looking at my stash of enamel dots and put a little red one in there. I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach that little camera to the bottom corner. And then I just put a uh, little heart in there too and I tiny attached that on there too. Tiny attached, is that a verb? <laughs> uh, I knew I wanted to use some of these Studio Calico arrows. I haven't used them and I think they came in a kit a while ago or something and I just thought I have to get those onto a layout. So I like stars on masculine layouts so I thought this one was a good one with two male subjects in it. I'm going to put a piece of washi tape there and that's camera washi tape so again it kind of goes with the photo theme although you're not really going to be able to see enough of it to know that it's cameras. I know that it's cameras so um, and it was kind of a little bit too much that's a bold thing to add to the layout it's the darkest element but I think it balances off all the blacks that are in the black and white photos. It was a little bit too much so I decided to layer another piece of washi tape over top and that just softens it a little bit. And oops, I put that, that washi in the wrong spot. So that's a little bit more like the look that I was looking for. So things are starting to come together and find their home on this layout. All the little pieces. I still don't have a title, so I'm trying to think about what am I going to do about a title. And uh, these L Studio tags make a perfect place to put a small title. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I have another L Studio tag that's going to go up in the top corner. And then I decided to use these pebbles words or letter stickers from my stash. And I've had these for a little while and haven't uh, haven't used them yet, so I was glad to the colors are perfect. So So the title is going to be a nice day for a photo walk. Uh, but I didn't obviously have enough room for all of those words so I'm just using word stickers for the word the words photo walk and then I will hand write the a nice day for. And I have those letter stickers layered so that when I pulled them off my wax paper they came off as, as two sep as two full pieces. And now um, I didn't much care for how my lettering came out but I just I just did another um, kind of a thicker line over top of what I had already done and I like the look of that a little bit better. Sometimes you can fix things when you mess up a little bit and sometimes you just have to leave it <laughs> and you never know which one is going to happen until, <laughs> until you give it a try. This one worked out okay. It ended up looking better once I went over it with a heavier line. Um, now I'm just putting this uh, this tag up in the top and so I just use my roller date stamp to put the date and then I also hand wrote the place and I'm hand do I'm handwriting my journaling down here and doing it on grid paper makes it really easy to make it straight. Um, it just says I don't know many people who enjoy getting up at 4 o'clock a.m. but you are so dedicated to your art, your art you happily go on these early morning photo walks. And my journaling was quite a bit longer than I expected it to be 
And so that gives me a bit of a challenge with placing that green arrow, but I decided to place it there. I don't love that it's pointing right at the, the blue washi tape, like it's too lined up there, but I didn't really notice that when I was making the layout. I only noticed it later on. So I'm going to try to figure out some places for these stars that I'm trying to use from, from my stash. When I'm using a kit, I like to, um, you know, use as much of the kit as possible, but I also like to use it as a jumping off point to, you know, use up some of the stuff that I have hanging around my desk as well. So I'm looking at putting some enamel dots around. Oh, and see, now I really like that. I wish I had left that, but I took it off. I might go back and leave and put some of those clusters of... See, I kept... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't decide where to put them and then I took them off and I should have left them on because I really like the look of the clusters of three or four of those enamel dots in different colors. Um, yeah, I think I'll go back. When I do my review of the month, you'll see whether, <laughs> whether I went back and, and added those. That's one of the benefits of, you know, doing videos or even taking pictures of your layouts is you can kind of take a second look and say, oh, wait a minute, I kind of like that or I kind of don't like that. And then you can add stuff later. So those are wood veneer um, geotags that I added in those places. And then this is a Studio Calico little man icon. And uh, I always want to use an opportunity to use a man icon because I usually run out of the girls so quickly. I think that those geotag wood veneers are the ones from Freckled Fawn. I have the geotags from Studio Calico and from Freckled Fawn, so I can't say which exactly they are. But there's the title, and uh, that heart, that camera actually now has, um, oh no, I didn't. I thought I put a little enamel dot on there, but I didn't. You get to see some of those layers. And those arrows, by the way, that were die cut with my Cameo were left over from the previous layout. So if you, if you saw my, um, hello, my name is Tracy and I'm in love with New York City, you saw me cut those for, the, for that layout. And then I had a couple of leftover pieces. And I love how that inked cardstock looks such like, like watercolor. You can really see it on that green arrow there. So I guess that's about it for this one. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to add that um, that little cloud. That is from Freckled Fawn. And I couldn't decide to leave it or take it. And one tip that I got from, I think I got it on the two-piece message board, is that uh, if, you, if you're not sure, take a picture and then look at the picture and decide if if you you know sometimes it can give you a fresh perspective and so I did and I and I definitely wanted it because it was a cloudy day that they were uh, doing this photo walk but I put it on the other side and I think that kind of balances it off a little bit nicer so here are the photos thanks so much for watching you guys take care and have a great scrappy week